guys welcome to the first episode of cooking cookbooks now the cookbook I will be using for the first like 50 or 60 recipes I will be doing is as cooked on TikTok <laughs> yes I'm doing TikTok recipes now there are drink recipes but I will only be focusing on the food recipes so I'm so excited I've been waiting to start this project for so long so today we're doing a party starter. So like an appetizer. And the party starter we will be, well, I will be doing, you'll be watching, is um, it is salt and vinegar, pasta chips, and the TikToker is at Feel Good Foodie. So basically we will be doing this awesome recipe. And as I go, I will show the steps up here and show you glimpses of the book as well. So, I'm excited because salt vinegar chips are my favorite. Hopefully they look as good as that. <laughs> Probably won't, but let's do it. Let's get into it. So excited. Okay, let's go set up. Okay, so the ingredients you're going to need... For this recipe is eight ounces of bow tie pasta, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, a third cup of red wine vinegar, a small bowl, and a half, one half teaspoon of salt. Um, the equipment you're going to need is an air fryer and a pot of boiling water. So, before I do anything else, I need to go preheat the air fryer to, let's see, okay, I need to preheat the air fryer to 400 degrees. Let's go do that. Air fryers preheating. Now, time to start the pasta water. Alrighty, while that's going, I'm going to start kind of measuring the liquids before I put pasta to boil. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up camera.
Boy, it smells so good. I'm gonna top it with a little more salt because I'm a salty girl. And then Okay, now I'm to transfer into the Okay guys, you're on the phone cam because I couldn't get a good angle, but we're going to transfer. So it'll be five minutes on 500, uh, five minutes on 400 degrees, but make sure you check it because these can cook fast. pop a little bit since I preheated the air fryer. Just trying to get them all in there. It's like cooking fucking bacon. <coughs> Basil is a little dry. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm the only one eating these, so... Alrighty, all transferred. Five minutes. Let's hope they come out good. I'm hoping because I really love salt and vinegar chips. And they will be tested against some salt and vinegar chips. So excited. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. This has been really fun. This is only the first recipe. So, like 59 more to go. Hopefully successes. <laughs> Alrighty guys. Here is them. I'm gonna plate them, season them a little more, and then you'll see the final, final product, and we'll taste test them against some salt and vinegar chips. Here they are, looking glorious as ever. Okay guys, so everything's done. Now it's time for the taste test. These are the chips, what do you think? A little, little high on the color. There we go. They taste pretty good, actually. They kind of give off that pretzel tech, like taste, but in a weird way, good. I'm gonna try with a little sour cream. I know that's weird, as I squirted the sour cream on the side of the plate. Not bad. They're pretty good. Mm. Okay, let me cleanse my palate. Now, I have kettle sea salt and vinegar chips. Let's try one against the print. Ugh, bow ties. Tastes like a chip, a lot, lot more salt on that. I just put my hand in sour cream. Mmm. Okay. Against these. I think I'm gonna go for the bow ties this round. Oh no, it's so hard. They're both good, but this is not as salty and as vinegary as the chips. And it's kind of a cool snack or appetizer 
poor party would be like, is that pasta? Yes, it is. Okay, guys, that's the video. I really did enjoy making these. So exciting. Hope you all enjoyed watching and try it out for yourselves. And can't wait for episode two. Don't know what I'm doing yet, but hope you enjoy these cooking videos because I'm so proud of this one. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know when I'll do the next one, but just keep watch. Bye, and stay snacking.